Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise today in honor of an amazing Idaho family which has taken a horrible personal tragedy and turned it into a cause that will benefit many other families in the years to come. I am referring to the family of Shauna Hill, a 16-year-old girl who lived in Eagle, Idaho in my district and who tragically lost her life in 2012. At the time of her untimely death, Shauna was a junior at Eagle High School. She was a com competitive figure skater and ice dancer and played the violin in her school or orchestra. She even performed with the orchestra at New York's Carnegie Hall. She was also working to qualify for a congressional silver medal for public service, personal development, and physical fitness. She aspired to attend Stanford University and become a doctor. Sadly, she lost her life in a car accident on her way home from orchestra pra practice. I first met Shauna's parents, Captain Edward Hill and his wife Heidi, in 2013, when I helped present them with the Congressional Bronze Medal for their daughter, their daughter had earned. While presenting the award, I learned that Captain Hill, who served 28 years as a Navy pilot and flew to protect America during three combat tours, had retired shortly before Shauna's death. Following the tragedy, Captain Hill was working with the Navy to try to reassign his benefits to his second child, Haley, who was also planning to attend college. With almost three decades of distinguished service, Captain Hill qualified for the full utilization of the education benefit. But the Navy said Haley wasn't eligible because education benefits under the GI Bill cannot be reassigned. The Hills asked for my help and my staff got to work. Unfortunately, we found out that the Navy said current law does not allow the transfer of education benefits after a service member has retired. No waivers are permitted, even in such tra tragic circumstances. I promised the Hills that I would seek a legislative solution. In February of this year, I introduced H.R. 1112, the Shauna Hill Post-9-11 Education Benefits Transferability Act. This bill would permit the reassignment of veterans' education benefits in cases where the designated beneficiary passes away. Losing a child is the worst thing I can imagine, and surely Congress didn't intend to exclude the ability to transfer benefits to a surviving child or spouse. The bill I introduced would correct this oversight, and it's received support from many veterans groups. These include the Concerned Veterans for America, the Military Order of the Purple Heart, the Student Veterans of America, and VETS, the Air Force Sergeants Association, the Association of the United States Navy, and the National Military Association. This month, the VA Committee Chairman Roe, VA Committee Chairman Roe and Ranking Member Walls included my bill in the bipartisan GI Bill, the Harry W. Comery Veterans Education Assistance Act of 2017. This bill, this bill passed the House last night, and I was proud to join my colleagues in voting for it. I am grateful to Chairman Rowe and Ranking Member Walls for including my bill in their legislation. I'm also thankful to Senator Crapo, who has introduced companion legislation in the Senate. Now that the House has acted, it's my hope that the Senate will act too. And from there, our bill can be signed into law. This legislation will mean a great deal to the Hills. It will be a great comfort to them and all those who have experienced such a terrible loss. As a grateful nation, it's the least that we can do. And America must always be a grateful nation. The Harry Comrie Veterans Education Assistance Act of 2017 keeps our promises to our veterans and their families, especially when they need it the most. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and I yield the floor.